Hello everyone, this is the Terra Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the May 2016 love forecast for the Aquarius. Alright, so we're going to be looking at the remainder of the month of May. Okay, so I'm sorry I'm late. Um, make sure that you hit the subscribe button for the $3,000 subscriber giveaway. Not $3,000, but 3000 subscriber giveaway. Okay. All right, so this is going to be a six-card spread. It's going to look at the subconscious, what you need to know about this person. Um, it'll look at the sexual chemistry, the emotional connection, any external influences. Um, is this a long-term thing or not? And then um, you get a final card, so... Alright, so Aquarius for card number one, you got the Eight of Wands, uh, which is indicating that you just recently got a message or either you have one coming. Um, the Eight of Wands is, um, this is someone... Um, with quick actions, decisions made very quickly. So for some of you Aquariuses, <clears throat> you're going to meet this person while you're traveling. And for you that are already involved, um, hopefully you're not making any any fast decisions or anything. Um, that's pretty much what this card means. It means movement, literal movement. Okay. Um, also some sort of important news so you're either going to deliver it or you're going to get the important news now your sexual connection now I'm sorry how do I relate the eight of wands mm. it just means important news Your sexual chemistry is the Hierophant, Aquarius. Um, the Hierophant is all about doing the right thing. So, I'd say traditional, okay? Okay, the Hierophant is all about doing the right thing, and um, so the Hierophant is a traditional, um, you know, person, a leader, so, you know, I'm kind of seeing more, you know, traditional, um, I do see like a major event happening this month for the Aquariuses. Um, if you're single, this means you're going to meet someone that's, you know, going to kind of be a father figure. Um, you know, or a mother figure. And it just also means that, um, you know, at first there won't be a sexual attraction. Um... But then it'll just sort of, I don't know, get, um, sort of get stronger with time. Hmm. It's a major arcana, so, um, the emotional connection is the full card. So, what this means is brand new, okay? So, there's a lot of, um, for those of you that are single, it's another major arcana. Um, I'm sorry, the full card. 
is another major arcana card. So this is about um, if you're in, if you're involved with someone, it's about a new beginning. And when you're if you're single, it's also about that. So um, your external influences is the the um, Eight of Swords. And if you look at the uh, depth, the um, I'm sorry, the illustration, you'll see um, kind of a demonic cat, and then also um, a really strange looking elf troll thing with angel wings is on her back. So this is uh, this could indicate some some sort of anxiety. So Aquarius is if you're having anxiety, you might want to let that anxiety go. So with the um, Eight of Swords, you know, this is when you can't sleep at night and you've got so much anxiety that you, it, it just keeps you up at night. Okay, so um, that's not a good <clears throat> energy to have, so you may want to get a hold of that. Um, is it long term? I would say yes, because you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles is completion and... Um, so it's a very good card to get. Um, I see a very stable uh, financial foundation for a lot of you Aquariuses with this 10 of Pentacles. So if you just recently met somebody or um, if you're single, you know, then... Hmm... I would say if you're single, you're probably going to meet someone that's a family person. Or they're just going to be really stable as far as, you know, with... Yeah, I'm sorry. We're being with... Yeah, I'm sleepy, guys. You have to give me... Um, your final card is the Two of Cups, so this is really good. Um, so there is definitely a lot of love for you, Aquarius, because the Two of Cups is about. Um, this is, you know, one of the one of the more romantic cards in the uh, in the tarot. So the Cups is about emotion. So this is a harmonious partnership. Is pretty much what this means, or coming together, or just love is what this card means. And so, um, I'd say, Aquarius, your theme is going to be do the right thing. Um, because I think that it's going to have a really a big impact. Okay? If you want a personalized reading, check out the link in the video description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.